In this video, we talk about a real world application for an inverse function. So first we're gonna look at a uh, normal function and um, what the real world context is uh, for certain values. And then talk about the same with an inverse function and then actually find the inverse uh, of this equation. So this equation here or this function represents a relationship between uh, the number of chirps per minute a snowy tree cricket makes and the temperature um, that that cricket is in. So uh, R represents chirps in minute and T or F of R is the temperature in degrees Fahrenheit. So R is kind of like the independent variable X and uh, T or F of R is our dependent variable um, or the air temperature of T. So if we think about F of 36 is equal to 49, well, what does that mean in this context? Well, 36 is the R value. So that would be our chirp rate. And 49 would then be the T value, which is our temperature. So if a cricket's chirp rate is 36 chirps per minute, then the air temperature is 49 degrees. This other example, uh, F inverse of 60 equals 80, we have to remember that inverse functions flip the X and Y values around, or the input and output. So 60 won't represent the chirp rate, it's gonna represent the temperature. So if the temperature is 60 degrees, then the chirp rate is gonna be 80 chirps per minute. And we can actually plug uh, both of these values in for R and see which one works. If we plug 80, which we say is the chirp rate, in as R, uh, 80 times 1 fourth is 20, plus 40 is 60, and that will give us 60 degrees. So now let's actually find what the inverse of this function is. So recall, um, we there's four steps. We first have to kind of rewrite the, the f uh, or our function here, f of r as t. And again, we think about it as x and y, but uh, we don't really have to keep that um, in the back of our mind like which value represents x and which one represents y, because we always just swap these variables um, or exchange one for the other. So we're going to end up writing r equals 1 fourth t plus 40, and we're going to solve for this variable here. So then we are going to subtract 40, and now we just have uh, one last piece to get t by itself. We're going to multiply by 4 on both sides. Um, we're going to want to simplify uh, whenever possible, and we can easily distribute this through. So t is equal to 4r minus 160. And our last step is to change uh, this variable back to function notation. So it's going to be f inverse of r equals 4r minus 160. And we can always double check when we are solving for an inverse. If you plug this in for r right here, then um, once you simplify everything, you should get R as your final answer.